Hello, my name is Madison Bryce, and in this video we will be discussing how to use a Make controller in order to create an animation. This is the second post of my blog series on how to take an idea and turn it into a working 3D model and then eventually a working 3D printed model. So we'll be creating animations today. And the first animation type we'll be creating, as I previously said, is a Mate control animation. So right now, currently, this assembly can move back and forth on these linear racks. And this is just controlled by me dragging right now, but we would like to control this precisely to match up with each drink dispenser. Then once this is matched up, we would like to be able to control this dispensing mechanism in order to extend the correct amount and then eventually push this up as well. So let's take a look at first this linear assembly. Let's open this up, this sub-assembly here. And we can see that this moves back and forth here. And this moves up and down here. So we want to create mates for their original position so that our mate controller knows where to begin. So to do this, we would like to create a mate that mates this to here, and then a mate that mates the bottom of this to the bottom of this. So let's start with this mate on this assembly. So let's take that face right there and mate it to this face. And while the original position, we would like these two features to be coincident or have a zero distance. For the mate controller, distance is preferred, so let's just create that distance mate with a distance of zero. So now that that is created, let's go down here, that distance mate. So let's rename this so it will be easier to find and configure later on. So this is plate distance. Save that. Okay. So now that this is mated, it cannot move back and forth. Let's take a look at this. This can still move. Let's open up the dispense assembly. Here we go. Let's take a quick look inside. Let's change the transparency of this. Here we have a stepper motor right here that powers this gear for the rack and pinion assembly. And right here I have a rack and pinion mate on these two components so that they move correctly with one another. So let's change this transparency again and actually use a section mate. That will be easier to grab these two areas. So let's mate the bottom of that to the bottom of that. There we go. And once again, not coincident, but distance of zero. Perfect. And then let's rename this also. Oops. And we'll name this rack distance. Okay. All right. Turn that off. Save that. All right. We don't need that open anymore. And here we go. This cannot move back and forth. This cannot move back and forth. So now it's time to add our mate controller. So let's choose our mates. Let's go to here. Let's choose originally in the full top level assembly is the plate distance. And now we have to go to dispense small mates, find the rack distance. All right, there we go. Let's cool this up. All right, position one, zero, zero. That's good, that's where we want it to start. And then we want the next position to be underneath a drink dispenser. So let's add a position, position two, sure, that's good. And we want this plate distance right here to be 96.66. That'll get us directly lined up underneath the dispenser. And the rack distance, how far this is extended, we still want that to be zero because we aren't ready to extend it. It has to fully reach the position here, pause for a second, and then it will extend. 
So let's update that position. That's what this little button right here does. Let's create a new position, position 3. So the plate distance, we still want that to be 96.66 because that's directly underneath. The rack distance, let's create that to 10. And that is extended up fully. Good. Let's update that position. Let's add another position, position 4. This is where it goes back down. Perfect. Alright, update that position. Nice. And then, last but not least, we have to go back to the original home position. So we want to go back to 0, 0 once again. Update that position. So let's take a look at this down here, the animation section. You can select different positions to go to, but we, want, we created different steps, basically. So we want to go to each position. So the timing for each of these is 2 seconds, basically, to complete each task. Let's just calculate that, see how it looks originally. So here we go, moves over to underneath the second drink dispenser, pushes up the dispensing thing, goes directly down, and then back. So that looks pretty good, but let's say we want, it was a little quick between 3 and 4, it just went up and straight down. Let's say we want to add a position where it holds it for a second. So let's add a position, let's call this hold, and we want this plate distance to be 96.66 again, we want the rack distance to be 10, so fully extended. So this is the same as one of these positions down here, I forget which one, I guess it would be 3, but let's create this hold and then update this. We can take this hold, move it up right there, and then have this hold for, let's say we only want to hold it for one se one second. And let's say we want to go down faster than we go up, so let's add that for one second as well. So let's recalculate this, this button's calculate. Goes back to underneath the dispenser, goes up slowly because it has to push the dispensing thing up, holds for a second, goes down, goes back. All right, that looks good. And we can then export this animation and sure. All right, that is how you use a Make controller to create animation in assembly. Thank you.